Kate Middleton has given a subtle but sentimental nod to her late mother-in-law Princess Diana and Queen Elizabeth II by wearing their pearl jewelry. On Wednesday afternoon, the royal family attended the solemn procession of the Queen's coffin as the late monarch left Buckingham Palace for the final time. While attending the procession in Westminster Hall, Princess Kate donned a long black coat with the Queen's very own diamond and pearl leaf brooch, featuring a trio of pearls at the center of a paved set leaf, pinned to her lapel. In an equally as poignant tribute, Princess Kate also wore stunning pearl earrings previously owned by Princess Diana. The mother of three previously donned the same earrings and brooch while visiting Belgium for the Passchendaele commemorations back in August 2017. The touching nod to her late in-laws comes a day after the Princess of Wales wore a different pearl necklace and set of pearl earrings and a sweet nod to the late monarch, who was known to favor wearing pearls. During Wednesday's procession, which ended at Westminster Hall, where the Queen's coffin will lie in state, the Princess of Wales paid her respects for the late Queen by performing a low curtsy. Also in attendance was King Charles III, Queen Consort Camilla, Princess William, and Harry, Meghan Markle, Princess Anne, Prince Edward, and Sophie, Countess of Wessex. The Queen Consort and Princess Kate didn't join the procession but left for Westminster Palace by car. In another vehicle which followed behind them was the Duchess of Sussex and Countess of Wessex. The moving of the coffin came after the Queen's children all partook in the years-long tradition of the vigil of the Princes in Street. Giles Cathedral in Edinburgh, Scotland. The Queen's funeral is to fall on Monday 19 September at 8 p.m. Est. Following the service, a gun carriage procession will take the Queen's coffin past Buckingham Palace and arrive at Hyde Park Corner at 1 p.m. The coffin will be moved to a hearse and moved towards Windsor Castle, where a committal service will be held at 4 p.m. at St. George's Chapel. Following the service, the coffin will be lowered into the Royal Vault.